just Hero has a lot better long range options, especially in that uh, second level Zapple. Uh, that's going to be huge for breaking breaking the Hydrant. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start off with everyone's favorite Already. stage. Bouncing Zapple. <laughs> All right, so I do know I do notice that we have gone to PS2, which I have said before is an amazing Pac-Man stage. Ah, yes, it's, it's, it's also everyone's favorite stage. <laughs> but I mean, Vivi, Vivi does a, a great job when it comes to looking for those buffs, especially when he gets Accelerottle. He's going to have a lot better of a time than most characters trying to get in on the sort of Pac-Man fortress that he builds. All right, bounce online again. See Caleb uh, just trying to not engage right now. Jumping between the platforms, not even daring to throw out a Hydrant right now because, you know... It really just wouldn't be good for him on on any this, any angle. Right. This is this is sort of a, a different kid uh, that we saw in comparison to the match the match with Skeet, if anything. No, normally he was sort of like, like a mid range and uh, and somewhat combating, but uh, he seems to heavily respect the the bounce and and that what was it up, up smash up that was that was up tilt with oh. oomph and psych up oh nasty killing c caleb super early that's just one of those combinations that you really have to worry about because even if you shield it that's a one hit shield break on most any move Ooh. ledge again vv actually looking for the parry there not finding it but he does they do have bell in hand what amazing patience there by Vivi. He um, had just enough mana to be able to get that second level swoosh. And let's see, right right now that they're sort of uh playing. Oh wait. Yep, we've got Accelerado on deck, which means <laughs> Vivi can just go out there and do that. Uh let's see now. Right, well, yeah. Right now, uh, uh, Caleb uh, really needs to, uh, to, to, uh, to change the pace or something. Because right now, it is not working for him. Yep. The up smash, uh, 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 oh, you're bold. Oh man. I B love it. BB with, with the cheekiness over here with uh, Thwack. Yep, that was that was Thwack. <laughs> okay, nice tech. Uh, yeah. But yeah, as, as I was saying, uh, Caleb is, uh, is going to need to uh, switch gears uh, or something because uh, the playing the, the passive approach uh, is, is not working. At least, uh, at least when it comes to his bounce. Yeah, I mean, especially once once C Caleb tries to, you know, throw up the Pac-Man Fortress, uh, it gives VV so much time to just pick out the buffs that he wants. He gets Accelerottle, he gets Oom for Psych Up or whatever and he just gets to barge into the Pac-Man Fortress. When Vivi has Accelerottle, you can't run away from him. I think he's like the, uh, the, the one hero I saw as far that uses the Accelerottle uh, uh, very aggressively. Mm -hmm. okay, I believe he does still have Psych Up oh. online. Okay, what a read on the uh, neutral tech there. Oh man, that, uh, that bell was almost a club and 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 just like that, okay, his life was ended. Yep, able to find the I believe it was psych up forward forward air. Mm. Okay, it looks like VV's bands were F D and T and C. Which not I think I do I do agree with. We've seen that VV is very good at handling the sort of Pac-Man house that he builds, especially once he's able to get all those buffs. Uh -huh. which he's able to do so when the Pac-Man is on the other side of the stage not engaging. He can take his time looking through that menu. Yeah, um, but but that just means that, uh, that, uh, that Caleb is going to need to be a little more aggressive, and now we're going to go to Kalos. And uh, Vivi now with the power-up got the cat ear headphones on. Oh, it's it might be over. <laughs> All right, bounce on deck again. Now, now let's... that's still hit. That's so active. <laughs> boom, boom is, is, is not to be trifled with. <laughs> yep. All right, you now... have to deal with Vivi with Accelerottle at ledge. How do you even get off? He gets it again. Vivi, Vivi's just got that different hero luck when it comes to getting the Accelerottles that they want. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's. 
a, a, a lot of the buffs have, have, have been lined up for him. Oh, and a heal too. Wow, the R&D guys are favoring him. Yep, a nice 11%. Eevee looking to close out this first stock. And I, Vivi has had Accelerottle more than they have not had Accelerottle this this whole game. Hey, I respect the man. It's time it's time to move. Oh, and he, he, he tried to lay out the uh, the snooze, uh, but it didn't work out for him. Okay, bounce back on deck. See, Caleb really has to just kind of not engage at this point. All right, F tilt is gonna be doing it. He's got so many buffs on right now. He's got Psycho Oom. Don't. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, I'm actually genuinely surprised that Psycho Oom F Tilt does not shield break, considering everything else does. I, I mean, right? But, uh, pro uh, uh, probably a good thing, because the last thing okay, anyone needs is, 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 is a hero that can also okay, shield break nonstop. Oh, and um, Caleb okay, managed to make it a little more even. Yep, actually right back to even 0% on both sides right now. So Vivi not really getting any extra credit there. Nice move shot of shield. Now I do find not I do find this uh this the stage pick a, a little interesting to uh considering that oh the, the, the last the last stage was, was Pokemon Stadium 2. But uh, ho uh but hopefully uh, he can sort of uh, uh, make this work. Yeah, I think uh probably the uh the rationale was that the platforms allow C. Caleb to platform camp a little bit better, especially once Vivi starts getting these, uh, you know, bounces and accelerators, and it allows C. Caleb to uh, be off stage a little bit longer while he's got, you know, wall jumps and things like that. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. But you know, it's not working out too much so far. Vivi with less than a single percent on right now, while C. Caleb is sitting at potentially his last winner stock. Oh man, that bold. Ooh, if that if that was a uh, K Fizzle or, or 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 any other move, that that could have hit that that dashing attack. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he's prone on the ground, you can't throw a, ga a Galaxian at him. Bounce bounce is just too good. I think Vivi's looking through the menu for something funny. Uh, it I hope I hope it's not Hocus Pocus. Probably not, but he's he's probably looking for something goofy like that. You actually parried the thwack. You're you're crazy. Some, sometimes you, you you gotta be crazy, um, to, to, to win. You, you gotta do crazy things in order to win. Oh, oh. that was that was good. Uh, that was a good spot dodge. Yeah, that absolutely would have killed. Psych up down smash. Bounce back on the line. See Caleb kind of swinging for the fences right now, looking to get this scary. <laughs> Carry Zero off of him, but I think that was a psych up up tilt. We'll be taking it in favor of Vivi. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of, of, of what could have gone better on, on Kayla's way, aside from being a, a little more aggressive. Like maybe, like maybe uh, being more aggressive when when the H, when the MP bar w w was at half or, or or less. But uh, uh yeah. Uh, I, either way, Vivi. Uh, We'll move, we'll move on to, to, to win his bracket. Yeah, I mean, either way, it is it is such a rough situation when Vivi has bounce up because C. Caleb can't really do a whole lot. He can't do the things that make Pac-Man's neutral so good, which is threatening with projectiles, with hydrants, and uh, you know he really has to rely on his neutral, or I mean his normals. He does have to rely on his neutral, but his normals is what I meant. And while Pac-Man does have amazing neutrals, uh, you know, Vivi's got that sword hitbox. He's he's gonna be walling the Pac-Man out. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's quite unfortunate, but like I said, I I, I wish Caleb could good luck in a loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what's oh, uh, yep. I, I, I looks like we're about done over here. But it but it was nice uh, commenting with you. Absolutely, it was a great time. We're gonna be seeing a caster swap as we move into top 24. So stay tuned, everyone. Bye.